Welcome to Fox 43 AM Live. We're here now with the Academy of Country Music's new Female of the Year 2022. She was Billboard's top new country artist 2021, iHeartRadio um, Music Awards, best new country artist, and more. Please welcome country music star Lainey Wilson. Man, I like that intro. <laughs> Good morning. No, you've had quite quite a couple of years now making uh, quite the hits and uh, up on the charts. Congratulations on all that. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I'm just I'm glad to be here and you know country music is my life. It's always been and I ain't never stop them, so. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And you know this year you've been touring with um John Party. What's that experience been like for you? It has been so much fun. Um, his last name is Party, so it has been a party. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to prepare my liver for it. Um, just so much fun. It's me, him, and my friend Haley Witters, and they're two of the most kind, talented people I know in the music business, and it's just been a joy going out on the road with them. Awesome. And what was the last um, concert you were at then? Oh, my goodness. The last concert I went to? was probably my good friend Luke Combs. Oh, yeah? I got to see one of his shows at Stagecoach a while ago, and um, me and him go way back. He was, I was one of his very first co-writes in Nashville. He used to come over to my camper trailer um, and write songs, because I lived in a camper the first three years that I was in Nashville. So he knows me back in my camper trailer days. Wow, wow. And you know, speaking of Luke Combs, you know, you'll be touring with him later this year for his Middle of Somewhere tour. Uh, how are you preparing for that one? Like, is it, a, is it a difficult going from like one tour to another and bounce around to different shows? You know what? I don't think it's hard at all bouncing around from different tours. I think it, I think it keeps it interesting. Um, you know, we get to see so many different parts of the country and the world, and um, it never gets old. I'll tell you that. You know, the sizes of the shows are different, but the crowds every single night are are awesome. And I'll tell you what, everybody seems real excited to be, to be at some just some live shows here in live country music. And I'll tell you what, it's doing my soul some good. And it seems like everybody else is enjoying it too. Well, obviously, you were doing so well these past couple of years. You know, going beyond the stage, three of your songs have been featured in the Paramount Network's uh, Yellowstone, and now you have your acting debut in the upcoming season five. That comes out on November thirteenth. How do you feel jumping into a new venture like that? Who? I've been acting a fool my whole life, so I figured, <laughs> why not just give this a go? <laughs> Yellowstone has been really good to me. Taylor Sheridan, the writer and producer, like you said, they put three of my songs in the show so far, and he called me back in February and said, you know, what do you think if I created a character specifically for you? And I was like, are you sure you want to do that? Um, <laughs> let's do it. And so it's just been such a cool opportunity. I mean, of course, this is definitely something that's new to me, but I'm all about stepping outside of my comfort zone and doing things that are a little scary because I feel like if you don't do that, then you're not growing and you're not learning. And I mean, I'm getting to learn from the best. I truly am. The cast and the crew of Yellowstone, they have welcomed me with open arms and treated me like one of their own. This is a door that, um, that opened through my songwriting. That's that's amazing. And you're playing the character Abby. She's a musician in the show. You know, what can you tell us about that character? Any kind of surprises or anything about your episode at all? Yeah, so um, you'll see me throughout the entire season. I am um, I'm a guest star. Abby is a musician, singer songwriter. I'm pretty much getting to be myself, which is really cool. And um, you know, that way I'm kind of getting to ease into it. I still get to talk the way that I talk. I get to wear the crazy clothes that I wear. Um, I get to sing my music. It's just really just a huge opportunity for me to be able to share more of my music with the world. Mm -hmm. And that's that's amazing. And so, yeah, jumping into this acting role shouldn't be too difficult for you then. I don't We'll see. I mean, you know, I guess when you stand on stage every single night, you know, you have good days and you have bad days just like everybody. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you have a bad day, you got to get up there and act like you're having a good one. Uh, so I guess I have done a little bit of acting before. So October 28th, your latest album is releasing, Bell Bottom Country. What can you tell us about the album? Bell Bottom Country it is country with a flair. It's about finding that thing that is that makes you different and unique, that makes you stand out, the thing that makes you, you. I mean, it could be where you're from, how you were raised, the way that you talk, the way that you look, what you wear. It's truly just kind of 
peeling back the layers of, of me. And, you know, I feel like I've grown a whole lot as a person, as a singer and songwriter the last few years. And this is me just kind of uncovering a little bit of that and, and showing that growth and showing people that, you know, I'm trying my best to be unapologetically myself and I want to encourage everybody else to do the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's wonderful. And, you know, you wrote most of the songs for this one. Is that right? Yeah, I wrote um, I wrote every single song on there except for a cover that we love to do at some of our shows. And, you know, I take a whole lot of pride in my writing because that's where I started out. You know, I was a songwriter before I was an artist. And I feel like, you know, when I can have my own little stamp on the song, I feel like it's more me. And it, if it tells my story, I feel like, you know, I, I'm being real and honest. Mm -hmm. And you have uh, the new singles are on there. Uh, Watermelon Moonshine is coming up. And I, I was listening to some of them earlier. You know, it's a great groove. I was, I was jamming along to them. They were wonderful stuff. <laughs> uh, how excited are you that, you know, these new singles are popping up and they're just hitting the charts and everyone's loving them? I've seen the comments on YouTube. People are all about it. It's been pretty cool to watch. You know, I've been pursuing this for a very long time. I've been in Nashville since 2011. Um, and you know, I've I've never had a plan B. It's always been plan A. I figured if I had a plan B that plan A was not going to work. So I've always just kind of kept my head down and kept my blinders on. And it's really nice to see that things are starting to come to fruition and that my hard work really is um, it's starting to be recognized. And I think that's what it's all about is, you know, not taking no for an answer and just and moving forward. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And so t um, tonight you're going to be performing in Manhattan at the Hats. What can people expect from the show? Will we, will we hear songs from your latest album or favorites from Saying What I'm Thinking? You're going to hear a little bit of everything. It's going to be so much fun. You know, I mean, I feel like when we have longer sets like this, we actually get to know the crowd and the crowd gets to know us. And that's my favorite thing is feeling like I can just take my time and um, we can laugh, we can cry. I want to make sure that, you know, if you feel alone, I want to make sure that you do not after the show. Awesome. Yeah, sounds like it's going to be a great time. And, you know, I like to ask my guests you know, kind of the same question. You know, is there any advice you would have for young musicians and singers, you know, trying to break into the industry? Because you're apparently doing so well. You know, what's your secret? My advice is don't do it. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I, I get that, too. Yeah, for step one, don't do it. Step two, here's step what you got to do. <laughs> no, um, you know, I would just encourage people to to always stay true to themselves and um you know it, it's really hard it's really hard to do that people can see that authenticity and um also work hard roll your sleeves up and try to be friends with as many possible people as you can be kind because at the end of the day you know if you're playing out at a little bar in nashville or whatever and you're out there meeting people and playing music they might not remember the song that you wrote that you played that night but they're going to remember how you made them feel so be kind work hard Awesome. And that's some great advice right there. And Lady, real quick, anything you'd want to say to your fans to encourage them to come out and see you? All right, y'all. It is going to be a good time. I better see all of y'all at the hat. Come on. Put your party pants on. We'll see you there. <laughs> awesome. All right, Lady, <laughs> thank you so much for chatting with us today. You know, everybody, be sure to head over to the hat to hear Lady live. And for more information and upcoming tour dates, you can go to LaneyWilson.com or follow her on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Right, thank you so much, Lady.